Tonight Forecast with meteorologist Pat Walker. And welcome back to Arkansas today. Well, we've had plenty of scattered thunderstorms in, in central and north Arkansas throughout the morning hours. We continue to have that now in the afternoon hours. And yet again, we have another wave back off toward the west that's going to come in this afternoon. We're going to start by going into Crawford and Sebastian counties out in west Arkansas. Some rainfall from Van Buren northward up to around Mountain Burke hitting I-49. That's moving toward the northeast through Crawford County. Here in Newton County, rainfall south of Harrison, obviously, and back over into Searcy County, too. A lot of just scattered rain showers across the Ozarks of Northwest Arkansas and more scattered rain showers and thunderstorms through the Greer's Ferry Lake area into Independence County and then into Northeast Arkansas too and even on the other side of Crowley's Ridge. Now back through the River Valley in the northern Ouachita, some more scattered thunderstorms in Logan County, Yale County around Danville, through Perry County moving up to Petty Jean and over to Conway as well and scattered rainfall in the northern part of Pulaski County from Jacksonville and the Little Rock Air Force Base up to Cabot, up to BB and all across northern Lono County but heavy rainfall around Jacksonville back, back down to around McAlmont in Pulaski County. But the story was this morning from last night's rainfall and this morning's rainfall, we're getting huge rainfall totals around the Roland area. This is near Pinnacle Mountain in northwestern Pulaski County. And you see these colors here. These are Doppler radar estimated rainfall totals. If you see the shade of yellow, that's radar estimating four inches of rainfall. The orange, five inches of rainfall. And inside that red, six or more. In fact, our highest total we're seeing here, Doppler radar estimating nearly nine inches of rainfall. And we've seen some actual verified reports of about that much rainfall in that area. And that's from last night and this morning. We had about maybe four or five last night, another four or five this morning. And that's why we've been leading to that flooding in northwestern Pulaski County, which we did have a flash flood warning for about four hours this morning. Not a whole lot going on across south Arkansas. Temps are warmer there, but we do have more rain again back into Oklahoma that's going to come our way. So for the day, you can see the bulk of the rainfall has been in the northern half of the state. Russellville and Little Rock officially picking up almost a half inch of rainfall. Of course, yesterday was a big winning day for Searcy, picking up almost three inches of rain there. It's 74 in Little Rock, 77 in Searcy, 81 in Fayetteville. But look at this, South Arkansas, we're in the 90s and have heat index values close to 100. But that may drop quickly when these storms from the west finally do move in. And of course, they're just going to keep following along this old stationary front that we have draped across the state. So we get to the middle of the afternoon, Arkadelphia down to Texarkana, then El Dorado, Camden area by 5 o'clock. And even through central Arkansas at that point, we'll get that wave through. Maybe dying down a little bit tonight, but tomorrow morning it's likely going to start up again. Primarily, it looks like the southern half of the state along and below where that stationary front is set up for the next couple of days. So North Arkansas, you might start getting a little break from the rainfall, but Central and South Arkansas, it looks like it's still game on. Well, that's your statewide forecast. Now here's your local forecast.